In previous part of our tutorial, we created a mesh and exported it to Cenus. So now we again open Cenus. Very important step is to change dimensions to millimeters because we created our geometry in millimeters. Now we will add physics, induction heating, and we will choose two dimensional solver. Now let's configure our solver. I click on it. So here for time domain I will use transient. For frequency I will set 5000 Hz. For initial time I will set 0 and for end time I will set 30 seconds. Our time step will be one tenth of the second and the reason why I am using such a small time step is because there is such a restriction that multiplication of uh, billet speed multiplied with uh, this time step should be smaller than uh, should be smaller than uh, largest element size used in mesh. Uh, here I will specify that I want to save every tenth time step. Since our problem is axial symmetric, symmetric, then we will set yes, that we have symmetry axis in y direction. And now we have to specify material properties for billet. For domain type, I will choose that it is conductive and we want to solve the heat problem. For speed of this billet, I will set one centimeter for material, I will choose aluminum. Initial condition will be 22 degrees Celsius. For billet axis, we have to specify electromagnetic condition, symmetry axis. For outer uh, billet uh, boundaries, we will use electromagnetic infinity boundary conditions, which will be zero potential from uh, simulation perspective. And those boundaries are here and here. And our heat loss is thermal boundary for which we want to specify convective cooling boundary condition. So here we will use the default 5, five uh, coefficient equal to 5. And for ambient temperature we will set 22 degrees Celsius. So next we will set up inductor properties. I will choose that induct inductor is current source in our problem. And let's set, say that we have 20 kiloamps of total current flowing in this inductor. Material with inductor will be copper. Now we will select air domain and specify that it is non-conductive. For material I will choose air and this heat loss condition comes from billet, thereby we will do not specify anything for it. And for far field, we will use infinity boundary condition. So now we go back, we add preprocessor, and we are ready to compute our problem. So let's run it. In this part of tutorial, we set up electromagnetic and heat problem for moving billet that is inductively heated in electromagnetic field. In the next part of tutorial, we are going to post-process results. Thank you.